Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your uh, June bonus reading. We are just gonna jump right in here, Cancer. Um, I have a little bit of a time crunch this weekend, so we're just gonna do short uh, Celtic crosses, uh, and that's going to be that. But um, also, I'm running a contest. I'm giving away four free readings with me. So if you've ever wanted a free reading with me, now is your chance. Uh, there's a link down below with more details in the pinned comment down below. And um, uh, also, just leave a comment down below. That's how you enter. Leave a comment down below. Go to the link and enter uh, at the link as well. But um, that's going to be that. So uh, again, getting started. You have the Six of Swords in your current general energies. So some of you are clearly moving on to bigger and better things. It's, it's interesting you have two tens here. And two tens are about like moving forward, uh, you know, are, are kind of like ending cards to me. You know, whenever I have like, even if they're good tens, it doesn't even matter. You have the 10 of cups. To me, tens can represent a conclusion or an ending. What's super interesting is that you have the fool to the world. Literally in the major arcana, we go fool to the world and then we start all over again as the fool. And that's like the whole part of the fool's journey in the tarot. So to me, it looks like there's some sort of ending going on. This could be a good ending. You could just be ending one cycle, you know, progressing on to a new cycle in your life and that would be the six of swords you know normally on the six of swords the woman and the child in the boat they're leaving everything behind them behind they only have the clothing on their back that's the only thing they're bringing with them across the choppy waters it says they are completely starting over and so for some of you i'm not saying like it doesn't have to be that dramatic right but you could be getting like a new job you could be starting a new relationship or you could uh, this reading is kind of giving me more the vibes of you know, getting to that next stage of life, whatever, you know, whatever that stage is for you. For some of you, it could be retirement, I'm hearing as well. Uh, for your crossing energy, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. I just feel there have been a lot of delays with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, the Knight of Pentacles can represent uh, hesitation energy, hesitating, uh, not making a move. You know, he's kind of being too cautious as well. So I feel that for some of you, and that you have been too cautious. And, you know, the interesting thing is, is that you go straight to the fool and the fool is coming up in the area of your mind, your your thoughts. And this is the third position in the Celtic cross. And, you know, the fool, sometimes I feel is about just uh, ripping the band-aid off, <laughs> you know, just creating some sort of ending or creating a conclusion. The other interesting thing that I get here is very specific, by the way, what I'm about to say, but for somebody out there, it's almost like, you know, there could be something that you're thinking about doing. This might only be for one of you or maybe a couple of you. Whenever I say that, it's always for like a hundred of you. But it's like, if you're thinking about like selling your car or something like that to make your life easier, I do think it will make your life easier. Like maybe you have a car with a really high payment and maybe you want to trade it in for something like less of a payment or um, no payment, right? Maybe you could trade it in for something that has no payment or something like that. I don't know. You know, it might make sense only to some of you, but I feel like this is saying it will make your life a lot easier. I don't know. It popped into my head. Um, the other thing is, is if you're thinking about uh, taking a leap of faith towards uh, anything, uh, I would do it right here. I feel amazing about this right here. You know, you go fool to the world. It's like literally saying taking a leap of faith is going to create like instant success with that world. And then you go to the Ten of Cups here, which is like fortune after difficulty. But the Ten of Cups can also be your happily ever after. So if you're thinking about taking a risk as, um, you know, but the, the risk with the Fool is very specific. The risk with the Fool is to have a new beginning, is to, um, you know, is to create something new in your life. And then I would say this looks very good. This could also be the risk to like move, which obviously that would be a new beginning, but you have that world card there. Um, you know, it could be a risk in love, like, you know, letting a person know that you're interested in them or something like that, but, you know, we'll see. In the area of your foundation, you have the Ten of Wands. Again, this is probably why you have such a strong start over energy here. <laughs> it's like, you know, sometimes I think if we have a job that has, that we is too much, then we just figure, you know what? I'm just gonna start all over. I'm just gonna go get something new. And that's kind of like the vibe that I get here is that some of you, it's like something could be like something in your foundation, something that supports you. It just could be too much. You know, it, could, it just could have too many responsibilities. And it can, again, it could be a job. As I always say, I wouldn't just be quitting a job right now. I would make sure you have something else lined up first before you quit. Um, you know, it's just too risky of a time for something like that. I do think this reading is saying take a risk, but you know, take the risk to go look for the job, take a risk to, you know, go out on a date, you know, stuff like that. We're not talking about just, you know, up and quitting, right? 
So make sure to pay attention to that. But, you know, I feel like some of you, it's like too many responsibilities here. In the area of your past, this is the energy that you're moving past. You have the Five of Swords, which is great. To me, it just says you're moving past like conflict or some sort of separation. So some of you could have like healed from a, um, you know, a breakup or a separation or something like that. I also feel something very specific. By the way, <laughs> if you're wondering if someone is single, I would say, yes, they're single. You might be looking at a person and be like, oh, they're married or, um, you know, you might be interested in a person. You might be like, there's no way they're single. I, th I feel like they're single. I don't know, very specific, especially if you work with this person or I'm also getting the specific story. It could also be an earth sign, by the way, because you have that Knight of Pentacles or Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo with the world card. Um, but I'm also getting, if you are like moving somewhere or if you're getting a new job and you become interested in like a new person that you've only recently met, then I would say, yes, uh, this person is single. Cause again, I have a weird story popping into my head about like what, thinking a person is married or something like that. It literally popped into my head when I picked this card up, but they're not. Uh, it could also just be, you know, take it how it resonates. It could be someone else that you are interested in. Um, and I feel like they're they're healed is what this is saying is like they're moving past something actually. So, you know, go for it, do what you gotta do. Um, you know, for the rest of you, again, I feel like some of you are healing just in general. Uh, next in the area of your near future, you have the world. Again, love it. The world is a card of accomplishment and success and good things coming in for you. So I feel like there's like some sort of quick success coming in here because we go from the fool to the world. And it looks to me like you're leaping into a success or you're you're leaping into something that's gonna be successful very quickly. It's kind of weird to just go from the world, I mean, the fool to the world. It's almost like you're just jumping right into something that is like going to be your happily ever after with that 10 of cups or something that's gonna be very fulfilling for you. I also feel that, you know, I always say with the world though, here's the thing, is that it's usually not that quick. Like usually there's been, and I mean, it's gonna happen quickly, but I think what you need to realize is that you've been through a lot to get to this point. And, you know, I think it's important that we honor the things that we, we've we like learned, the lessons that we've learned and things like that because then we're telling the universe, oh, I paid attention to all those things I learned. So it's like maybe you ha you're working on a business and it becomes successful very quickly here, but it's probably due to like all the years of work. So make sure you're honoring that. Same thing with a relationship as well. It's like you could be attracting someone who's very good or a very solid connection. Obviously, you have the 10 of cups over the next few months, which is amazing. This is like fortune after difficulty good things coming in for you. But, you know, it's like, I feel like you need to say like, no, I, I I got this because of what I've learned, you know? And when we do that, we get more good stuff. So, you know, I would do that. I am getting that energy. It's like, you know, something I've been working on personally for the, the past few years is not like just rushing right past the success. Like when I have a success, I really, really take the time to embrace it, celebrate it, and all that other good stuff. Most people are just like, they become successful at something and they're like, on to the next thing, like rushing right through it. Um, when we do that, then we're not like honoring the success. We're not like being appreciative of what the universe has brought us. We're saying like, okay, this isn't good enough. Now I need the next thing. And but so when we take a minute, I think it doesn't even have to be that long. I've been really, you know, again, not to brag or anything like that, but I've been really taking even my small wins. I really take the time to be grateful for it. And like, I take the time out to do it because again, I, I just think it attracts more of those things. So, you know, that's what I would do. And I would appreciate it. I don't know, it's like popping into my head for some reason. Uh, I also feel this could be love. So if you want love, I would definitely encourage you to date at this time, but I don't know. I feel like for a lot of you in the um, next part of the reading, which is your closest relationships, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this doesn't have to represent just love. It could be just your closest relationships, any type of relationship in your life. But I feel like there's something very fulfilling coming in for you. Uh, I also feel like you've really put in a lot of work to be successful. And I also feel you could be attracting a person who puts in a lot of work. And I really feel that here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you know, if you're attracting love, I feel it's someone who really kind of like puts in the effort. And I think that'll be very obvious to you. I also feel for some of you that you could be like mastering a craft here, Cancer. Um, if you're going to school, if you are thinking about getting some sort of certification in your life or something like that, um, sometimes I feel, and I do in your reading right now, that the Eight of Pentacles is an amazing card for like kind of getting a certification or, you know, learning something from people and, and that leads to like a certification or something like that. 
Uh, it is popping into my head. I also feel that some of you could be getting money from someone like in your life. It could be like an inheritance, not really a card of inheritance, but based off where it's showing up. I don't know, you could be getting money from someone, especially, uh, I could just be a gift. <laughs> it's popping into my head. Uh, next in the area what are, of um, your future feelings, you have the three of wands. It did come up in reverse. I don't read reversals. I read intuitively, but um, it was interesting. So I left it in reverse. And the three of wands in reverse would kind of represent no progress. Um, not, not seeing your ships coming in, but really I feel it's encouraging you to go on some sort of adventure. I almost feel that it, it should have been in reverse. It's weird. This deck, like I don't even know how it got in reverse because I've been very careful with this deck. I haven't dropped it. Usually if there's a reversal in my deck, it's because I've dropped the whole entire deck or something like that. Right? So pretty weird that it was in reverse. And, um, what I, but what I would say here is I feel this, I almost like see a wall in front of me here it's the best way I could describe it. It's almost like you're not going past something or you're not getting enough details on something. Um, we're gonna actually clarify this in just a minute, but um, you know what I feel here is it's like you almost could be assuming something that isn't true. Like again, if you're interested in a person, maybe you assume they're married, but they're not. Maybe they'd actually be interested in you. So don't, like I feel like this is, that's what this is saying is like the universe wants to bring you something. Usually with the three of wands, it's our ships coming in. So I feel like the universe is saying here that it wants to reward you but don't let your own thoughts, you know, prevent you from getting a reward is kind of what I get here. Uh, next and finally for your outcome, you have the three of pentacles. If you water something, it will grow. Like literally on this card, he is watering these three pentacles here, Cancer, and they are growing. So I feel like there's something that has a lot of growth potential or that will be growing in your life shortly, but you have to put the work in with that three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is a card of quality work. So, you know, I, I, you know, I would really focus on whatever you're working on. It doesn't even have to be business, it could be a relationship. I would focus on the quality. And with the six of swords and the knight of pentacles, you have the six of wands. Crazy, Pisces had two sixes in the middle here uh, as well in the first position. Two sixes, I love, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love two sixes. It's like confirmation for your path. So, you know, I feel like this is saying that you're going in the right direction and that you need to keep pushing forward. There's like some sort of victory coming in for you here as well. Um, with the full card in the area of your thoughts, you have the seven of wands, two fixed, right? <laughs> seven of wands is a card of conviction. It's a card of knowing that you know that you're gonna be successful. So anything you want to do, uh, I, I think having that belief is of course amazing. But again, I would be careful of being too stubborn in your thoughts, especially for those of you that want to take a leap of faith with the fool. Like if you wanna start something new, or if you're hoping to have a new beginning in some area of your life, could be any area of your life. I feel like this is saying, it's good on one hand to believe that something is so going to be successful so deeply that you make it happen. But I would also be careful of being too guarded with the seven of wands and not get Get started on something. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the King of Wands here. This is coming up in the area of your foundation. I, I do feel that all of us need to be more bold and assertive at this time because, you know, of the astrology. So, you know, I, I think that anything you want to accomplish, that you really have to go for it. You really have to make it happen, which is basically what I'm saying. But going this way, we go world, which is an accomplishment to that Three of Wands. And Three of Wands can be a card of foresight, right? It's basically a card of seeing the future, but it came up in reverse, which would say that you can't see the future. None of us can. <laughs> None of us can see the future, it really. And you know, uh, some people might say, Chris, you're reading tarot. That is reading the future, which is wrong. That's a major misconception about tarot. Tarot just reads the energy and provides potential outcomes and also provides opportunities that just have potential. I mean, that's what tarot is. Whether you take advantage of these opportunities or not determines the outcome. So, you know, again, it's not it's not really future, reading the future, right? And, but what I would say here is I feel like this is saying like, don't assume the outcome, right? Like I was saying earlier. With the world, you have the lovers. I knew there was something about love here. I mean, obviously because we have the 10 of cups here, but there could be someone you're interested in at a distance. Uh, again, could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Could be a Capricorn as well with the world card. Uh, it could be a person who has one of those signs in their chart, you know, somewhere. So that, that's basically all 12 signs that I just listed. But, um, you know, I feel like there a choice needs to be made to make this happen. Lovers was traditionally a card of the crossroads. Like, you know, we had two choices to make with the lovers traditionally. And um, 
you know, I always say the lover says pick the new path. So, you know, the whole entire reading is basically saying there's a, a new beginning coming in for you. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Page of Wands. Someone is going to be very interested in you. I feel like you're interested in someone, you know? <laughs> so, I don't know, Cancer. If you're interested in someone, I would say go for it. Uh, I also feel like this is talking about adventure. If you don't want love, and even if you do want love, um, you have the world here to this Page of Wands, which would kind of represent like going on a vacation or doing something that you enjoy, uh, or even doing something that you could enjoy, like a vacation or... Um, getting out into the world. So I think that would be a good idea. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, walking away from things that no longer served you. There's this like underlying energy here in this reading that's like really saying to me, like something about past lessons. I get out on that Five of Swords um, right here at the beginning of your reading and I also get it right here as well. I feel like you need to realize that you have learned the lessons. What, what, what was I saying about that? I was saying, oh, I was talking about um, honoring the lessons, right? That you've learned. Again, when we... You know, I think when we pay attention to the lessons that we've learned and we tell the universe, thank you for the lesson, I'll, I'll pay attention to it, you know, for it in the future, then we can avoid it. I also think that, you know, again, I'm not picking on anyone here, but I get a lot of comments from people that are like, oh, uh, you know, someone broke up with me. I'm never going to have love again. I'm like, okay, great. You're allowing a past, you know, egghead bozo to control your life. That person now controls your life. Someone who broke up with you is now controlling your actions. And it's like writing off love because someone hurt you to me is ridiculous because you're giving them all the control and you're you're also telling the universe, I learned nothing to look out for. I learned nothing that to pay attention to. You know, people always tell me like that they're blindsided by relationships or a breakup. And it's like, there have been moments where like, I could say like, oh, you know, where I had a person who told me they love me. And then like literally an hour later, and then going on and on about how much they love me. And like an hour later broke up with me. Right. And it's like, I had that. So I was, I was kind of blindsided in my life. But if I think about it, if I stop and I look at the relationship and the first things that this person said to me in the relationship, it was obvious that it was always going to end that way. So I always tell people, it's like, no, we just didn't honor the lessons. Right. And I, you know, I'm one of those people, I take radical acceptance for the things that happened to me and it's totally changed my life. Right. And and so, you know, I always say that, you know, I blame no one for this except for myself. So, and it's not even about blame. It's just about honoring the lesson, right? And so that's what I feel like it is about here. It's not about picking on yourself. It's not about be, uh, turning yourself into a victim or anything like that. It's just about saying, oh, I should have seen this. I didn't learn the lesson. Now moving forward, I'm going to pay attention to the lesson. With the three of wands, you have the page of cups. Yes, yes, yes. Don't stop yourself from this. This is a gift from the universe right here. I'm telling you right now, you know, this is a gift. Uh, it could be love, um, you know, for a lot of you. If you have your eye on a person, I feel like this person's like a gift, like literally a gift, a dream come true. And I'm not even trying to be clickbaity here. Uh, that's really what I feel. If it's not a, if a person, I feel it's an opportunity. It could be both for some of you. It's like there could be an opportunity where you remember what I was saying earlier, where I got this feeling where you could be like moving. And also, you know, that move could be because of like a job or something like that, but maybe you get an amazing job and you meet the love of your life. It's like giving me those like win, win, win type of vibes here. And uh, finally, for your outcome with that three of pentacles, you have the page of swords. Yes, spying. <laughs> Are you spying is what I would say here, Cancer. Do you have your eye on someone and that you're spying on? Again, it could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo. It could be any sign, general reading, but you know, that's what I would say here. I would like, you know, just kind of like go for it. Um, you know, I would also encourage you to like learn as much as you can at this time, um, just because of the energy that we're in. Uh, you know, I feel like learning and educating yourself with the Three of Pentacles is a good idea. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles, which are like mastering your craft. And I was saying on the Eight of Pentacles, if you're getting a certification, amazing. If you have a job and you have the opportunity to get a certification to increase your um, earnings or maybe your boss is like, oh, get this certification, we'll give you a raise, I would do it. Um, you know, all those things are popping into my head. So uh, amazing. But uh, Cancer, this is amazing. Again, a link down below to enter the contest. Make sure to leave a comment as well to enter the contest down below. But really good reading. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.